Mm. Mm. Palomino. Seems like a very extravagant name for such a little trailer. And here's the Rue Saint Catherine in the village gay, the gay village where everybody is happy all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I come down here now and then. I mean, it is nice, nevertheless. It is next to downtown, and I'm half a fag, so whatever. <laughs> this station is still under renovations, but if you haven't been here in a long time, wait till you see how it looks. It's quite impressive. Quite impressive indeed. Ugh. the font so small I can't see nothing Jesus there you want to see how blind I am let me show you that's how much I need to see closely oh, anyway what are you gonna do that's the way it goes today I'm not gonna go backwards that's for sure they rebuilt these escalators this one's already making noise this one's not even working. But this is really cool. Look how nicely done this is here. This is really nicely done. It's very nice. It's got a classy look to it. I'm trying to take it slow because I'm still recovering from the stupid pericarditis, which I don't feel explaining. Just look it up on Google. Google it. Googly googly. <laughs> I'll be the backwards walking man here. Oh, it's kind of hard to walk backwards here though. Oh, it's kind of not good actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I was in the Tim Hortons before and I had a stopped in for a coffee and a bagel and a after I walked out of the John, the song uh, Step by Step is playing Step by Step, cool baby Every time I hear that song, it takes me back to about 19, yeah, 1990, I think, when that song came out And it's coming back from a scrapyard with my friend in his mom's car She had an 84 Cutlass Supreme, uh, Cutlass Supreme 4 door, two-tone blue mag oh, I think it was beautiful, beautiful car Come to think of it, in hindsight, it should have been preserved even You know what I mean? get on that train riding that train high on cocaine Casey Jones da, 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 da. originally I was gonna go east towards Honoré Beaugrand but I changed my mind because I'm gonna go take a ride with my friend who drives bus my friend Joe so we're gonna go at Baudry and we're gonna go to I think I'm gonna go to Charlevoix here um, 
I didn't take that train because uh, there's more Azure trains on this line than ever. So hopefully I'll get an MR73 like the one you just saw. I don't know. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love to film an out-of-service train. That would be sweet. Seems like I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, no, actually, I haven't filmed an out-of-service train in a long time. Not as a feature, anyway. There was one I did happen to get going, filming a ride in this direction, actually. I remember that. These little round entrances and exits here to the stairs always reminds me, actually, of Kremizy Station. It looks like that, so... Look at this fucking hullabaloo. Oh, wow. oh, great, there's a couple of homeless guys there. Terrific. I'm not fucking going near there. They don't like being filmed because they're fucking drunk half the time, so they're going to complain. I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear that shit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way it is, it is what it is. Boy, do you think they got enough wiring down here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, that's not looking too good for yours truly. That's the second MR-73 going the other way now. We lucked out. Oh, yes. Whoa. See that car, how filthy it was? That's strange. this line with the orange line. Sorry, and the yellow line. Yeah, there it is right here. Okay, you couldn't see that too well though. Might not have picked the best time to do this. sitting in the best seat for this. Thank you. 
sitting in a good place for us. women, two photos of people from yesteryears. <laughs> La Place des Arles, Soleil Verte, on the green line. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put that loud enough. get off at Concordia actually because my friend said he was leaving uh, doing the 57 route at uh, 125 and I think it's 125 the next stop is Concordia and uh, it takes him about 10 minutes just to go back around uh, to Albert Plus and go back to uh, St. Catherine and Guy it's 125 I think I should be able to catch him One. One of my favorite stations, just like McGill. Exemplary to the 60s. The Zanis yeah. Poissant. gave me some disappointing news. Apparently he says I think by next year uh, it's going to be 80% Azure on this line and the rest MR73s. That's disappointing. But not surprising. Well, that's it. That's all. It's kind of ironic to start filming from a station that was renovation, still under renovation, to finish at, at another station that was actually, uh, well, there's something you don't see every day, that uh, also was renovated. I'm oh, no. going to let all these people go by. Get my shot of the train there. Oh, I can't even get my foot on. This is one of the, actually one of the stations, one of the original stations for this line. And uh, unfortunately, it's always under repairs. So this is a very normal sight to see over here. See all the exposure of the cement and the wall and the pipes. Because it's downtown, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Or as we say in French, c'est ça qui est ça. 
see that? That guy right there. Very important job, that guy. That guy, I think, is a metro repairman, actually. I believe so. It's one of the most important jobs in the city. You gotta keep that metro going, man. You don't think that those fucking new Azuras don't break down? No, I don't know they break, believe me. Too sophisticated, just like everything that's sophisticated. It's like people who buy these used BMWs, Mercedes, and Audis, and Porsches, and they think that's awesome, and you know, it's great. Yeah, but when something fucking breaks, it's gonna cost you an alarm and like to fix it. Let alone being as sophisticated in technology and having all kinds of fucking gizmos and doodads. I love that pattern. Very cool. They did a great job with the rest. Well, I'm not gonna say restoration, renovation. Renovation. It's usually a good busker over here, actually. Usually, there's a guy who plays great saxophone, and it's great. It uh, adds to the station. You saw her there with fucking panhandling and you're like what 20 years old it's fucking ridiculous you have never seen that in the old days but then again me i judge quickly eh? was i always like that no this ticket taker over here we call in french a changeur which is kind of an odd name because changeur is means change, changer. So you don't really say in English a changer, you know? Eh, we are almost at the end of our little, uh, your little virtual tour there. And of course, uh, you know, you guys, you dig what I do. I'm probably going to say this for nothing like a broken record like I usually do, but you know, check me out on Patreon. I'm trying to, trying to make some more bucks doing this shit since I do it full time. Uh, if you were to look up fucking OCD in the dictionary, there'd be a picture of me. Thousands of pictures of buses, of thousands of, uh, uh, not pictures, well, I do have thousands of pictures actually. Thousands! Buses alone, I got hundreds of pictures, let alone videos. You know. Ah, now in the heart of downtown Centreville, Montreal. Oh, look at this shitty lineup over here, oh my god. You know, imagine you go back in time, this is all, this would have been all classics practically. Because those classes could pack them in more. They were high floor buses rather than low floor. But anyway, that's it. That's all, guys. Hope you dug it. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, well, you know, whatever. Too bad. That's all it goes. And, uh, yeah, take care. Have yourselves a good, uh, good one there. There's a police. And, uh, yeah. Merry Christmas.